Thanks for joining me today. I'm Tanya and this is my little boy Dexter. And what we're going to do is we're going to do a little massage today. Thanks for joining me today. I'm Tanya and this is my little boy Dexter. And what we're going to do is we're going to do a little massage today. You don't have to be a massage therapist to give your dog a massage at home. The key is to make sure that you're watching your dog's emotions and how he or she is adjusting to it. So if it feels like they're squirmy and they want to get up and leave, go ahead and do that. Or make sure you lighten up on your touch. So I always start with really light touches and kind of go from there. As you may know, Dexter has Chiari malformation, so sometimes touch isn't something he enjoys. So it really is extra important to me to make sure that I'm watching him and adjusting as needed. The other thing I'm doing today is he is on his PMF bed. So I will leave a link to that below and maybe I'll do a future video on that. If you think that's something you want to learn about, do tell me in the comments below. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to start up here and work our way down and see what he wants. So I'm just going to start at the center of his head and just do a light touch and in some circular motions. Now I am kind of moving my hands a little bit just hopefully that you can see what we're doing here. And when you're giving your dog a massage, you want to have a relaxing environment. So no studio lights and chit chat, maybe more like calming music and subdued lighting. And I'm going to branch this out towards his ears. And I have a real light touch for Dexter. I'm going to go down kind of behind his ears, more where his temples would be. And you can do it longer than the video, I just don't want to keep you here too long. And I'm going to move forward to his face and around his eyes. And so he doesn't want that. He's moving his head away. So I'm going to go ahead and respect that. The other thing is if that happens, then I would make an effort of after your massage to go back to that spot, make sure everything's okay with their teeth or wherever else they're sensitive about to make sure that they're not moving away because there's something else going on, which is another great reason to do massages. It's a good way to check your dog out. So I'm going to go back to the ears. And I'm going to do one at a time just because of where he's at. And I'm going to pick up his ear and just go to the base of it and just a light massage. And remember, there's no wrong way. He said, I don't think so. Unless your dog doesn't like it. But we're just going to go back and see. I changed my touch a little bit. And I do normally move around him when I'm doing this, but I'm trying to stay in one spot. And so I'm just going to shorten that up just for the video purpose. But again, I want to make sure I get both ears. So we're going to come back to this part of the neck and we're in the center and kind of behind those ears. And I just want to get, you know, his blood circulating. And I'm going to go down his shoulder. And you don't... It's a good boy. And he is a little stiff today. That's why I thought it would be a good day to do a massage. And you don't need to do their whole body all the time. You can focus on one point at a time. So you can maybe do front legs or back legs or head. Can do it while you're just hanging out watching TV, just a couple of minutes. And I'm 
just going under his armpit and massaging under the armpit. That's a good boy. And on top, I'm going to lighten my touch a little bit. Down the elbow, and his forearm. And he does have sensitive wrists as well. He is uh, almost 14 now. And you can take more time. And I'm just going to lift up his foot. Massage his pad under here. Because they do spend a lot of time on those tootsies. And I'm going to go back up, back up here. Down the middle. And with this Chiari malformation, it is a spine issue. It's going to kind of go on both sides of his spine with real light touch for him. All the way down to that tail. Yeah. My flinchy and bobbly boy. Right here, buddy. And I'm going to come up here and think about this area. Just kind of massage. I'm real light. And there's some doggy stretches you can do as well. And I do have a few videos of that. So I'll drop those links in the description. So make sure you check those out. It's a good boy. Go to these back legs here. Let's see if I can untuck his tail that he's laying on. That's a good boy. Yeah. And go back to these hips. Back end. Make sure that when you're doing this with your dog, you're going with their natural motion and not pulling them out of whack. So, I might want to flip him on his side a little bit. Eh, I'll let him go. So, one of the things that you can do if you really want to focus on this area is turn them over on their side. I'm just going to work with what he's giving me right now. So I'm lifting up his back leg here. I have my hands underneath and over. and massaging both areas. I'm getting those tootsies again. <laughs> Let's see if we can do some stretches. So I'm just going to rub his leg, see if he wants to stretch it. Can I stretch it? He's like, no, there we go. There we go. Yeah, he's a good boy. And I don't tell him to stay during this because, again, I want to make sure that he's comfortable enough that he can move if he wants to. So I'm going to go to that tail and just kind of rub that tail. And he's getting close to saying, okay, Mom, I'm done. So we'll go ahead and wrap this up. So that was just a quick demonstration on one of the ways that you can offer your dog some pet massage at home. And if you, you got you okay, he's like, I want to get up. He's on this slick bed here, so I'm going to help the old man up and let him move away. So if you enjoyed this video, do give us a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Make sure you click that bell icon and you'll be notified every time I upload a new video. And if you want to dive deeper into your dog's behavior, training, and care, do check out my private Patreon group. That link is below. And we also have two Facebook groups, one for Cavalier King Charles Spaniels and one for all dogs and all cats for extra fun and enrichment. So make sure you check out the groups as well. Those links will also be in the description below. And until next time, remember to pause and enjoy life. And we'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. And don't forget to like and subscribe to both of our YouTube channels for more free content.
Let me tell you a story about the baddest dog that ever was. Sneaking food from the fridge, tearing up the garbage. He's a goofy old Dexter the dog. He's a bad, bad Dexter the dog. The baddest part that there ever was.